on TMZ. Okay, I am almost scared to say this, but um, Taylor Swift may have magical powers. Taylor attended the Chiefs game and they won. Either Taylor Swift has magical powers or they have Patrick Mahomes. Okay, but I do have a question. Has Patrick Mahomes won this many games in a row? Yes. What? Oh, <laughs> <me>. <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith is now revealing a shocking part of Will Smith's infamous Oscar slap and rant. Keep my wife's name out the mouth! Jada said, I'm really shocked because we haven't called each other husband and wife yeah. in a long time. At the time, they've been separated for like more than five years. What he should have said is don't talk about Jada like that. No. Keep my estranged wife's yeah. name yeah. out of your mouth. Yeah. Actress Michelle Williams will be the voice behind Britney's audiobook. Honestly, most people are gonna read it. If you pre-ordered the book, like uh, the hard copy, when does it come? Does it come in the morning? Well, it's not like Santa Claus. Leave out your knife and cookies. <laughs> Leave out your knife and cookies for, for Britney. Sophie Turner is ditching more than a husband in her divorce to Joe Jonas because she unfollowed her sister-in-law, Priyanka. That's one of the better parts of a breakup is you can unfollow all the people you had to follow. No, it's, it's actually a very weird part of breakups where like you get unfollowed by their mom and their dad. But you don't think about that in the breakup. You think you're just done with them, but you forget about the village. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Well, everything in moderation, but here's another shot of a Taylor Swift. If by moderation you mean every three minutes, then yeah! Taylor Swift attended the Chiefs game. Yes! Taylor was back in the Kelsey suite enjoying the Kansas City-Denver game on Thursday night. Third time in the last four weeks, and they won again. The NFL sure did! Oh, and the Chiefs won too. She shows up, they win. Wow, she must have magical powers. Either Taylor Swift has magical powers or they have Patrick Mahomes. They're one of the best teams in the NFL. The Broncos are like the worst team. He's never lost to the Broncos his entire career. But still, she shows up, they win. Can't argue with that. Does this kind of rankle Patrick Mahomes? It's like, oh, you won because Taylor's there. No, he loves this because for once he's not in the spotlight. He can just get on with business while Travis is in the spotlight. And speaking of Patrick, his wife Brittany is loving this too. His wife's got more of the spotlight she's ever had. She and Taylor were cheering and hugging and dancing, and the NFL was too. But they gotta be careful. Now they're dancing the line, because on the one hand, they're getting more viewers because of Taylor. On the other hand, the hardcore people are getting kind of pissed off because they feel like they're overdoing it. And before you know it, the game will be all Taylor coverage. Does the announcer like draw it up a little bit? Like Taylor went from here to there. Let's take a look at this play. Swift executes the selfie with a fan, blows the kiss, and then runs a quick out and sits her tight end down next to Donna for some extra points. It's the Taylor straighter. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the Taylor straighter. Thanks, Taylor. You're definitely the only reason the Chiefs beat the Broncos. Cristiano Ronaldo could face 99 lashes in Iran for adultery. What? Here's the deal. So Ronaldo plays for uh, Al Nassar, team based in Saudi Arabia. In September, they were playing a tournament in Iran. And while there, he was greeted by a bunch of fans. And there was a, a, an artist who has some sort of condition. But anyway, she makes these incredible paintings using her feet. And she gave Ronaldo one of these paintings. She presented it to him. And he, he was really touched by it. So he embraced her and he gave her a peck on her forehead. Well, because of that, in Iran, it is considered adultery if to you kiss somebody on the forehead while you are in a relationship. Is Cristiano married to? He has a, a partner, Georgina I, Rodriguez. I know he has a partner. Yeah, I, I know he has kids. Is he married? I don't think they're married. Well, how is that adultery? To kiss a woman who's not your wife in public, I think, is regardless of your marital status, just I don't know kissing another adultery. woman. So if you're unmarried, it's a hundred lashes. So if you're married, it says that it's death by stoning. Can I just say, God bless America. Yeah. Honest to God. Yeah. Wow. When Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars, Jada was stunned. Not just because he threw hands, but because he called her his wife. I'm really shocked because mind you, I'm not there. We haven't called each other husband and wife yeah. in a long time. I'm like, what is going on I right keep now? My wife's, wife's name. name out of your yes. mouth. That is shocking. 
Jada said that they were split up for seven years before the Oscars. So you could see her face at the Oscars. She was like, what the heck is going on? Right, because now we know this was a double whammy, a slap and a lie. What he should have said is don't talk about Jada like that. Yeah, thanks, that sounds super tough. Or keep my estranged wife's <laughs> yeah. name out of your mouth. Yeah. Which yeah. actually would have been awesome because then we all would have been like, what is strange? Yeah. Yeah. And nobody would even care about the slap. Yeah. Even Chris Rock wouldn't have cared at that point. But Jada's not just talking about Will calling her wife, she's also spilling the tea about how Tupac wanted to. She said Tupac actually proposed to her when he was in prison. He proposed marriage to her, she turned him down, but she says he's my soulmate. But she also says they have no chemistry. You can have a soulmate and it's a platonic relationship. It doesn't need to be a romantic relationship. De Devin and I are connected like twin souls. No, 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 no. Your obsession with Devin has gone too far. I was like, gonna be his best man. If you didn't have a brother. Oh. <laughs> He'd rather not get married at all. So, thanks, Jada. And we think we speak for everyone when we say, what the hell's going on here? Bye! Sophie Turner is ditching more than a husband in her divorce to Joe Jonas because she unfollowed her sister-in-law, Priyanka. Ooh. And they used to be best friends. Priyanka was in her wedding. She was the maid of honor, bridesmaid. Wait, she was the maid of honor? Yeah. Whoa, wow. They were close. We always saw them together. They were always hanging out. But Sophie still follows Kevin Jonas, Kevin Jonas's wife. Well, that means that it was deliberate. Priyanka said something a bit bitchy. Something was said, yes. Because she still follows Nick. Joe. Oh. Wait a minute, she follows Nick? Yeah, that's what it says. She follows Priyanka's husband. Yeah, which means Priyanka said something. It feels powerful when you unfollow someone. Poof. And they hate it too. People hate when you unfollow. It's actually a very weird part of breakups where like you get unfollowed by their mom and yeah. their dad. It's like, what? Why do you care? It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's just kind of like, damn, everyone's done with me. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are. yeah. They are done with you. But you don't think about that in the breakup. You think you're just done with them, but you forget about the village. The they village. Come it's true. You're mad that your mom doesn't oh follow God. you. Today on TMZ Book Club, Britney Spears in her own words. Well, actually, her words. Actress Michelle Williams will be the voice behind Britney's audiobook. Oh! Britney's gonna be doing the prologue, and Michelle Williams will be doing everything else. Hell of a choice. Michelle's fantastic, but, um... It takes away from it if it's not the person. Yes, it does. It takes the first person away and the emotion away. Yeah, but it's kind of cool that Michelle Williams is reading her audio. It is kind of cool. I'd rather actually have Michelle Williams. Ooh, does she do an accent? Yes, but oddly, she reads it as Sean Connery. It was fall of 2016 when I first met Sam, and I was immediately lost in those dark brown eyes. If Britney can dance with knives, she can voice her own audiobook. There you go. I would say that would actually work against her. <laughs> right. In any event, Britney says this. Reliving everything has been exciting, heart-wrenching, and emotional to say the least. For those reasons, I will only be reading a small part of my audiobook. I'm not buying that reason. I know this much. That statement, even though it seems simple, it took them days to all agree on it. Right. So this was all very carefully crafted. Honestly, most people are going to read it, and then so it, it doesn't matter what voice. The people who like this book aren't avid readers. No. I want to read it! I don't what, think that's that's, 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 that's controversial. Are you going to read or listen to it? Read! If you pre-ordered the book, does it come the morning? But the morning, like when I wake up? Well, it's not like Santa Claus. It what? should be. Leave out your knife and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to read the book, Brittany, nor listen to it. Yes, yeah, screw it, we'll do both. So most people who win an Oscar, they probably protect it, maybe put it in a display case, but not Gwyneth Paltrow. She used her as a doorstop. Oh. Yes, so she was in Vogue's like 73 Questions video. What a beautiful Academy Award. <laughs> My doorstop, it works perfectly. The problem with this is it's not real. Like, I'm the kind of person that would use it as a doorstop. Gwen Paltrow is the kind of person that would have it on a shiny display. That's fact. That's fact. That's not who Gwen Paltrow is. She isn't doorstop Oscar lady. Yeah, her rep actually said that she doesn't normally do this. Oh. So. This is nonsense. She cared about this. She campaigned hard for it. For her to put it by her doorstop is her trying to seem as though she's above awards. But also, this is disrespectful to the people that haven't won awards that would really appreciate it. Well, go win one then. Well, 
will never win one working here. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. We went to the awards, though. We came close to a daytime Emmy one. No, Back. we didn't. No, you were there, we five. were in a category of four, and th it was a three-way tie with only us as the loser. Well, we put a photo. I borrowed someone else's Emmy, and we got one of like, yeah, remember Katie? Yeah, we did it. Coming up. Madonna, she went to the opening of her son Rocco's art exhibit. And apparently his stuff goes for like $20,000. What? Wait, that's him painting? He's hot. Oh my God. So he gets shirtless and paint? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Coming up. Terry, she was on Social Forces on Fox, and she said that her fans. Sometimes I read, but some of the posts are with the fans. It, like, it makes me cry. It's been so kind what, and nice. Be right back. Madonna posing with a portrait of herself done by an artist she holds near and dear and used to wipe the poop off their tushy. It's her son, Rocco. Madonna, she went to the opening of her son Rocco's art exhibit in London. So apparently Rocco it goes by the name Red and apparently his stuff goes for like $20,000. What? Yes, Red paints portraits and they're actually pretty darn good. He also painted Sylvester Stallone blindfolded. Oh, I thought that was Arnold. Okay, he's not that good if that's supposed to be one of them, but it's not because his paintings are of regular everyday people, except Madonna. I also wonder, like, is it one of those things where a famous and rich kid like has a job, but it's not really a real job. It's like, I'm gonna be an artist. Well, painting's a real job. Yeah, but it's definitely easier to give it a try if your mom is worth an estimated $850 million. He's not bad, I mean, that's pretty good. It's not bad, but it's not a real job. If you were Mrs. Da Vinci, you probably would have said that to your son. Yes. Are you serious? You know how many non-Da Vinci's there are? Have you ever heard the, con the concept of following your dreams? Yeah, I think you're barking up the wrong tree with this crowd. He's able to follow his dreams because his mom is Madonna. But Siobhan, think of who you wouldn't have if you had parents that all did that. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Infinity. Well, you can't argue with that. Good to see you, Max. One of the biggest criminal cases is coming to a close. The missing Dorothy slippers from Wizard of Oz. So um, in 2005, the ruby red slippers from the movie Wizard of Oz um, were stolen from Judy Garland's uh, museum in Minnesota. And it was such a big deal that the FBI got involved. And in 2018, they actually recovered the slippers. But now we know uh, who did it. So there is a 76-year-old man named uh, Terry John Martin who uh, he actually pled not guilty to this, um, but now it sounds like he's going to plead guilty to stealing the slippers. It sounds like he's moving toward the end of his life and he's having this kind of conscience awakening. Do you relate to like getting older and admitting to things that maybe... If your plane was going down, would you shout something out? You know I wouldn't? <laughs> what? Because it may not crash. <laughs> right, right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that happened in yeah. Almost Famous. Oh, then it didn't crash. That's right. right. Okay. <laughs> he would say, I'm straight. <laughs> How are you? Oh, great, thank you. Oh, yeah. It's Britney's ex, Sam Asghari, in Beverly Hills. And he's probably going to crap all over her new book. I'm very proud of her. Wow, he's not very good at crapping on stuff. I asked him if he's nervous about what Britney might say in her new memoir, and he said he's already read it, and he's very proud of her. She put uh, a lot of work to it, and it was very hard, and uh, I'm extremely proud of her. Okay, so what does that mean to you? It means that Sam is not allowed to diss Britney in public. Okay, and why? Because they probably signed a settlement. Did I get it? You actually got it. He was really angry at her when he left. So the fact that he's praising her, saying that I like the book, tells me they've settled this divorce. But what's Sam up to besides reading his ex-wife's book? I'm putting a lot of work in stunt training and training, a lot of okay. acting. Jeez, he must be doing a ton of training, cause... He's wearing a cutoff hoodie. And walked out with the guns out, you know? Oh, they... when, when Jordan said something like, you know, what are you doing? He said, no, I'm focusing on my stunt work. And he said something like, you can see. <laughs> yeah, putting a lot of work in stunt training and training, a lot of okay. acting, and as you can see. Oh. Yeah. You can see. He literally looks down at his eyes. I told you. Honestly, can you blame him? The guy's got freaking Python. Say nice stuff about your ex if you want to adhere to the stipulations of your divorce settlement. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Hey, Tara, how are you doing? Terry, 
She was out at Crossroads Kitchen uh, in West Hollywood. She was on Special Forces on Fox. She said that this show actually restored her faith in humanity. Um, I, I did this show to kind of prove to myself uh -huh. that, you know, there's been a lot of bullying with me in, you know, in my life. And she said that her fans have not only like come to her aid, but have been like sending her messages. Sometimes I read, but some of the quotes are with the fans. It, like, it makes me cry, because yeah. it's been so kind what, and nice. Kind Can I just say, I am so grateful to Tara Reid, though. Why? Why? If it weren't for Tara Reid, there might not be a Kim Kardashian. That's true. Right? And we show you where that moment happened where Tara Reid and, and an unknown Kim Kardashian collided, where Kim started to emerge for the first time as a star, and we're the ones that made that happen, and we are going to unveil it beginning Monday on the TMZ Selfie Tour, which launches on, when, on Monday. It is a fabulous tour. I'm telling you, it's, a sh it's the best show in town. Coming up. We got Storm Reed. She's doing this thing called study with me. Studying is essential. All it is is she's studying and you're studying with her. And you're mimicking her? It's like having an imaginary friend. So now Javi can relate. Yeah. <laughs> The young people will love and the not as young people will get angry about. Starring Storm Reed. Hi. How are you doing? It's good to see you. We got Storm Reed. She's from Euphoria. She was out in Beverly Hills and she's currently going to USC. So she teamed up with Apple and she's doing this thing called Study With Me. It's basically a video of Storm studying and you can study along with her. You know, a lot of people find it helpful to have someone there with them, like a study buddy, even if they're not in the room. So it's just an hour and 20 minutes, and you study for 25 minutes, and you take a five minute break. Wait a minute, I don't understand. So it's like you have a study buddy. Uh-oh, you feel like triggered on this, don't you? I feel, I feel like triggered on this. The downside is that people are not interacting with human beings anymore. This is objectively a good thing. Because people are alone and are like, dealing with depression and anxiety and don't know how to make friends. You're right, and that's the problem, and you want to fix that problem. You don't want to You don't want to dig into that problem. You're also not studying with someone, you're studying with a screen. Okay, you're not actually having sex with someone when you're watching porn. Strange comparison, but oddly it works. So, what did we learn? Old people like study groups and sex, and young people like watching people study and porn. Thanks, Storm. Your study video sounds great. I hope so. I hope it helped them study. Yeah. Coming up. Taylor Swift fans who ended up going to the Eras Tour concert film premiere are now pawning off their collectible popcorn tins and soda drink cups. Are there any bigger suckers than Taylor Swift fans? Nope. Taylor Swift fans who ended up going to the Eras Tour concert film premiere are now pawning off their collectible popcorn tins and soda drink cups. Their popcorn tins? Yes. So they were collectibles that were given to them for free for attending the event, and now they're going on eBay and selling them for about $100. Oh my God. Is anybody gonna buy that? No. The thing is, this isn't a unique item at all. You can buy it at an AMC theater by yourself. It's $19.89. Are there any bigger suckers than Tyler Swift fans? Nope. Melanie, are you okay? I've just had a really bad day yesterday. Mel, you've gotta get over the fact that you didn't go. You've been to like nine concerts of Taylor Swift. You gotta get over this. Aren't you going tonight to see it? Yes. Okay, so you'll see it tonight. Cameron, can you bring me my wallet up there? Oh my God, are you gonna pay for me to go? No, I'm gonna pay for your popcorn. <laughs> there you go. Oh God. No, 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 no. 